guys welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is having an amazing day for today's video we're going to be doing a first impression all day wear test of a new product that i am so excited about i just went to target and picked it up i ended up picking up two shades it's the elf camel cc cream you guys know i love elf like i literally rave about them all the time and i love their camel concealer the matte one and the hydrating i feel like they're both amazing so i had to get my hands on this and i wanted to do a first impression for you guys so we're just gonna jump right into it i don't have anything on my face right now aside from my skincare i did my serum my moisturizer my eye balm and i'm about to apply my primer so for primer today i'm gonna go in with the elf hoodie primer it's been my favorite you guys know i use it with like my high-end my drugstore foundations and it works great with everything i usually like to do first impressions with primers that i know work great with all foundations so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the center of my face i love testing out new foundations i also love watching foundation reviews but sometimes like when i watch it and the person has like great skin i'm like well is that gonna work for me because i have a lot of issues with my skin i have hyperpigmentation i have dark circles i have acne scars so i love seeing people who have like similar skin type as i do and i know you guys love it when i show you that as well because you can relate to my skin issues and just in general i know a lot of people don't have perfect skin so i went ahead and prime my skin i have a little eyelash somewhere there Whoop. There we go. I ended up picking up two different shades at Target. I ended up getting light 240 warm, which has warm and golden undertones, and then medium 330, which has warm and olive undertones. The e.l.f. Camel CC Cream is available in 20 shades. I feel like they can do a little bit better when it comes to the shades. So claims for this CC Cream, it says it's skin loving ingredients. It has collagen and peptides. It's full coverage with a natural finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both of them. And this does have SPF 30, which is great. I'm gonna take both of them out the box so I can see which one matches me better. I feel like the 240 for some reason is gonna be good for me right now because I don't have any self tanner on. And I'm just gonna do a little pump, nothing too crazy. Actually, that looks really good. Okay, there we go. So this is 330 and this is 240. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go with 240 because the 330, it's a little bit too dark for me right now. But like I said, I do self tan, so that will be a great shade when I add my self tanner on. So one thing I forgot was my napkin. So let me just grab that. Okay, so it says this color correcting cream is the only product you need to achieve a natural looking complexion but with full coverage, we love that. So it says apply one to two pumps of the CC cream to clean skin using your e.l.f. complexion duo brush. I do have the e.l.f. putty primer applicator which has the foundation brush and then the applicator on the other end. I've used this before and I really like it. I just got a new one to use for this video. So I'm gonna do the right side of my face with the brush and then we'll do the left side of my face with a sponge to see what coverage we like better or the finish. I am taking the shade 240. I really like this packaging. It's sleek, it's easy to use, and it has a pump. You guys know I love my pumps. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply one pump on the back of my hand, and I am just going to use my Pudi foundation brush, and we're gonna start applying this to the skin. Wow, okay. Yes, coverage. First impression, it's covering pretty nicely. I have some scars that are healing from last week. So this is the perfect opportunity to see how it's gonna cover. Wow, this coverage is amazing. It is covering up pretty nicely and also the shade looks great with the rest of my body. One thing I'm noticing is that it doesn't have a heavy scent. You know how some CC creams or any products that usually have SPF have a strong scent? This one doesn't really have it, which is great. It looks really natural. It looks like my skin, but better, and it doesn't feel heavy at all. Feels really lightweight, and it's blending so effortless on my skin. Oh, wow, I, I love this brush, first of all, and I really like how it's applying 
the CC cream. Wow, that looks really good, you guys. I am loving the coverage. I'm loving the finish. I can definitely tell it has a natural, soft finish, but this coverage, amazing. So this is what it looks like with the brush. This is before and this is after. So let's go in and do one pump to the left side of my face. I'm gonna use my Milani sponge, which I've been obsessed with lately. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this to my skin. Okay, that's blending really well. Okay, I do notice right off the bat that it's not giving me as much coverage as I was getting with the brush. As you can tell, you can still see a little bit of that redness. So I'm gonna go in and apply a little bit more from that one pump. I'm not using any additional product. This is pretty much what it looks like with the sponge. So as you can tell, I got coverage, but not as much as I did with the brush. I would personally prefer the brush. I think it blended so effortless and it looks nice and even. I feel like you can still see a little bit of that little spot right there that I have on this side. Overall, still looks flawless. I think the left side looks a little bit more hydrated, a little bit more glowy in some parts of my face, and I still have that natural finish. Overall, the CC cream feels really lightweight. You can still see a little bit of that inner glow on my skin, so it looks really natural and healthy. Overall, I am so impressed with this product. I do want to see what it looks like with the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and we will be right back. All right, guys. So I am back completely done with my full face. I am so, so, so in love with this CC cream. I decided to do a more of a full glam today just because I haven't gotten glam and I've been doing a lot of natural looks on my channel so overall the CC cream looks amazing I did use the camo concealer the matte one and it worked amazing on top of it I did want to balance it out a little bit so that's why I ended up going with the matte one the hydrating one is amazing as well it just depends your preference you want something a little bit drier or you want something a little bit more hydrating for the skin um, they both work amazing and they're both under five bucks which is like a really great deal I actually use those more than my high-end ones just because they give me coverage they last all day going back to the CC cream I did go ahead and set it with my translucent loose setting powder I did use a little bit only on my t-zone for the rest of my face, I did not set it. I wanna see how it wears throughout the day. That's normally what I like to do anyways. It is just so, so, so flawless. Like I wanna zoom in so you guys can see what it looks like up close. Or I need to bring my chair a little bit down. <laughs> there we go. So this is what it looks like up close. So as you can tell, the bronzer blended effortlessly on top of the CC cream, the concealer, everything. It just looks so nice. You can still see a little bit of that inner glow. So it looks like your skin, but better. You can definitely build it up if you're doing a full coverage look or if you needed a little bit of extra coverage. The CC cream is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and wear it for the rest of the day. Let me just zoom out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and wear the CC cream for the rest of the day. Right now it is 124, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon, but I wanna wear it at least for eight hours so that I can give you a full day wear test. Overall, you guys, it looks so bomb. Like I am so, so, so impressed. The shade also, like I was kinda of like, oh my God, I hope I find the right shade. Literally a match made in heaven. So match is good, the finish is great, the coverage is beyond amazing especially for someone who needs you know a little bit extra coverage even if i'm wearing a lighter product like a cc cream i am so happy with it so i'm gonna go ahead and wear this for the rest of the day i'll check in with you guys around like 6 7 p.m i'm wearing this little cute dress today blue for baby boy um but yeah anyways i will see you guys in just a bit all right so i am back it has been, what time is it now? Let me give you an exact time. It is 6.37 right now. I was just listening to Destiny's Child. Um, it has been about five hours since I put on this foundation and let me tell you guys, I've had my mask on for quite some time because I went to do curbside pickup for dinner 
And then I also did um, some grocery shopping at Whole Foods. So I have my mask on and I'm shook because the foundation is still in place. Usually when I'm wearing my mask, I usually have a problem with like it transferring around my nose. And I feel like for the most part, it's like still in place, especially like around here and the front. Cause you know, usually it's like, you know, tugged in there. Everything still looks so good. Like it looks fresh. It looks like I just did my makeup. Also, I did want to mention because I took some pictures to make sure that it passed the photo test. And let me tell you, it definitely passes. Look at that. Boom. No flashback. Looks great in pictures great in person so i am very 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 happy with this cc cream i don't think i'm going to do another update for the rest of the day because i'm just going to be home i'm not really going to be doing anything different i'm not working out or anything like that so not much is going to change so i think i'm just going to wrap up the video now i want to give you my overall thoughts on this cc cream i am so happy with it i think i found a new favorite i mean elf has not disappointed in a while like i've been really obsessed with a lot of their newer products elf has really stepped up in every category you name it face eyes lips they've just been killing it and this is no exception this gets a 10 out of 10 from me you would definitely be seeing it a lot more here on this channel because i am so happy with how it looks i'm gonna wear it again tomorrow do a more like a natural look maybe no eye makeup a little bit of concealer and that's pretty much it but wow, it lasted a long time. It looks good. It stayed in place even after wearing my mask for quite some time and it passed the photo test. So it looks good in pictures. So overall, I am very happy with this review. So glad that I waited to film it for you guys because I wanted to get my first impression on camera. Um, let me know what other foundations, what other CC creams or other products you want me to review here on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll go ahead and link my shade and where you can find it in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Bye.